Hey everyone, it's 12 o'clock. Wow, I'm a little bit loud there, aren't I? So I'll modify my tone a little bit there. Um, anyway, so it's Wednesday, it's 12 o'clock, so it's time for Ask Finola How. And this is our number 42 episode, uh, 42nd episode. And um, it's really cool, actually, to be doing 42 episodes for all of you guys. I'm really enjoying it, and hopefully it's of benefit to you. Today we're talking about Q3 planning and the question we've been asked is what's so different about quarter three more than any other quarter Finola? Is it not more of the same stuff? And this is kind of what I want to talk to you about today which is quarter three is interesting. We have a month to go before we hit uh, quarter three and it's really, really nice time to kind of take this review period to really look at it because quarter three is fundamentally different. Quarter three, quarter three is where you just hit your halfway point in the business, your halfway point for the year, for all of your goals and everything else that you planned to have a successful 2022. Um, or if we're talking in the future, maybe it's another year. But anyway, so this is different. Quarter three planning is different. It's where you really do need to set the focus on what has happened and what needs to happen to get to where you want to go. It's a point where measurement is critical. It's also a point where you can get really deflated. So I want to talk about that for a little bit. What I've seen happen is, you know, at the beginning of every year, you're really excited. You are really focused on what you want to achieve some of the things that you want to achieve in a particular year, maybe things you've never done before. And especially if you've never done any planning, quarterly planning before, it's often a skill set that you don't quite have right yet, okay? So let's get kind of back to the start about this. So let's note the difference. The difference is we're at the halfway point, okay? So this is where you need to sit down and go, where am I with the numbers? What did I expect to have achieved at this point? And it is not to hide from yourself. Look at the work. And if you were doing quarterly planning sessions with me, you would have worksheets, you would have a plan on a page that you'd be reflecting on now. And this is the time to see what you wrote in black and white. And the reason it's really powerful to write and write this stuff in black and white is because you can't escape it. Because often we go off track because we hide from what we stated we wanted to be doing at the very start of a process. And when you write it down, you can't hide from it. And you get used to not hiding from it and using it as a really powerful tool to make a difference in your business. And that's what I want you to get used to doing, to build this habit of quarterly planning, of reflection, of review, of assessment, of measurement, and not killing yourself in the process and giving yourself a hard time about it, always using it as a learning experience, okay? So take this moment, reflect your at the halfway mark, see what has been achieved and do both things because we've got to prevent that deflation thing. That deflation thing is very real for entrepreneurs. I've seen it loads and loads of times where if you feel like, well, what often, often entrepreneurs feel like if they haven't hit the numbers, then maybe they wait till next year. Maybe it's, I'll just keep going along. I didn't do that big thing that I really wanted to achieve. I was speaking to someone about it yesterday and it's, I put it off and on for two years because I kept procrastinating. So I don't want you to procrastinate. I want you to be real and to set goals that are achievable and build this muscle that knows what's possible every time. And then we push a little more. So to, to prevent this deflation, and to prevent procrastination and putting it off until next year, sit and celebrate the wins. Celebrate what you have achieved first of how far you've come. One of the things I'm gonna celebrate is I launched a podcast. I set a goal, I declared it in my last quarterly planning session with everybody there saying, I was going to have a podcast live by such and such a date. And it made me do it. It made me be accountable to everyone I spoke to and it pushed me across the line to get it running. And now it's running consistently. Celebrate those wins because I know I'll celebrate that win, okay? 
The next thing that I want you to do is, as you reflect on measuring, now your goals maybe will be split up by a few things. One might be stuff you wanted to achieve around brand awareness, which will be measured by numbers in terms of perhaps people on your newsletter list, perhaps the number of followers you have in certain channels, perhaps revenue goals, which I hope you really do have revenue goals here, and number of customers, perhaps, number of customers in a specific audience. So look at all of these and assess where did I expect to be at this point and where am I now? Don't hide from the numbers. They're here to help you, okay? The next thing I want you to want to say to you is, this is the point where you, you know, you're at this halfway point and I offer this to you, this idea in your mind and say to you, be relentless and refuse to die, okay? <laughs> it's a big, overly dramatic statement, but still really, really positive, okay? I want you not to give up, to actually just look at what's happened and just refuse to die. Refuse to give up on that dream that you had to achieve by the end of this year and just assess and ask this key question. What will it take to bring me back on track? What will it take to get to where I want to go? Okay, and answer this question. There's things you need to look at. Sometimes you need to do different things and sometimes you need to do things differently, okay? You also may need things, you also may need support that you hadn't invested in before. You may need a certain type of skill set to help you in this. But really ask that question and allow your mind to open and say, without any limits, like really remove the limits here and say, what will it take to get to where I want to go, okay? When you've done that, take a moment and really try to answer this properly, like really try to answer this fully. Then the next thing to do is, what am I, ask yourself, what am I willing to do what it takes to get what I want? I ask this question a lot of clients. Are you willing to do what it takes to get what you want? It's a really big question. And sometimes the question is, is answered no. And that's actually okay but it means you need to reframe what you want, okay? And that then becomes the new question, which you will then ask again. Are you willing to do what it takes to get what you want? When you get to a point where you say yes, then progress, okay? Now, this is the right time to make adjustments because you have one month left in quarter two. You can pull things back and you can be audacious about stuff to actually push you to get a better halfway mark. And I really advocate you do that. I also want to offer you and invite you to explore how to make quarter three even better and actually make the most of the end of quarter two. I'm doing a free workshop. I do it every single quarter because I want you to have that habit of quarterly planning and seeing and watching your own progression and watching how you can use levers to help you push things forward. And I'm running this session next Thursday, the 2nd of June at 6 p.m. I hope you'll join me. It'll be fun, it'll be challenging, and we'll actually do things in that session that you will walk away with, a plan for quarter three that you know you can deliver on. Have a great day. Don't forget to click on the link in the bio and join me next week. I know you won't regret it. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Take care.